Hello, my name is Francisco Sandoval and my topic is bilingualism and executive function. So the reason why I chose this topic was because here in the Valley, most people um, speak more than one language, specifically Spanish and English. And um, there's very few occasions where there's a monolingualist. Um, and so I just wanted to see the comparison between the two and if there's any discrimination or disadvantages of a monolingualist in a workspace or in general. Um, so that's, that's why I chose this topic and also because I think it's a good idea to maybe look into and it doesn't have to be just here in the Valley, it can be overall to maybe benefit um, workers or companies in general or just in a, any community. And so my hypothesis was, um, I hope my study aims to examine the impact of bilingualism on executive functions. And I believe that people who speak more than one language will have a stronger and better executive function skill. So um, overall, I, I expected people who are bilingual to have an advantage solving problems, um, better connections through words, um, connecting um, words to other languages and et cetera. Compared to a monolingualist, I felt that they might just have difficulty um, doing all of the above, especially a lot quicker compared to a bilingualist. And I feel like they would seek attend uh, for, for aid. Um, overall, uh, my terminology throughout the essay and the research is probably uh, high education level. Probably you'd find these um, it's kind of terminology in the SAT, ACT. And at the same time, um, I feel like it's overall, uh, there is some unique words, but overall I think there is um, a good understanding as long as you know the context and uh, what's going on with language. Um, my form of research was through surveys and examinations. Um, I wanted to keep all my information, my surveys in a bundle. So I wanted to make sure all my results were going to be specific to this and not go out into different branches. Um, I think it might be different for other regions, other size groups and et cetera. It just all depends on who's doing the research in the area. But I do believe this was probably the best for me, uh, collecting data. And through the results, uh, it did connect to my hypothesis and all the research given to this topic. Um, I believe I found that bilingualists were more prone to understanding and solving issues quicker than compared to a monolinguist. Um, you saw side by side uh, comparison that there was a drastic difference between their ability to perform um, the exams given. And I think that's that was the key uh, factor to like noticing that there is a big difference um, if you do know more than one language compared to just knowing one. And I think if you were to look into it more, I think this would highly benefit other people in other places and maybe incorporating more than one language compared to just one. And just here in the Valley, um, probably researching more and understanding how we function to be more proficient overall in, in, in any workspace. So I think that's what stands out the most.